This video is about the email component of Flow Builder's uh, screen element. And we'll come back to this. Very simple flow. We enter an email address using that screen and then we display it. Uh, and remember, if what you want to do is display text, all you do is you create a screen and you drop in a display text uh, chunk. Uh, for us, what we've done is just email text is equal to, and I inserted the, uh, the variable. And so if we close this, uh, looking at it, we have a single variable called variable email. And uh, what I did was to drag in a screen element, which was this enter email address. And you can see it was named uh, enter email. And that was the way it was showing up in the, uh, in the flow. Uh, so what I, then I dragged in this component, left click and drag. And uh, what you're seeing interesting is that there's no preview available for this component. Um, whereas this is a text, this one's email above, this one's text below. And uh, so if I went down and I grabbed, just to show you again, a text left click and drag is the way I pulled it in. And uh, for, for this one, what I did was to, to name it alt email. I've got a checkbox for required default values I can validate. This is the more kind of traditional view of it. Uh, because this is actually a, a, a lightning component. Uh, and so what happens with it is you're seeing, um, you know, the label is enter email address, but yet that doesn't preview, whereas alt email is previewing. And then the same way, if we look at there as a placeholder text, there's a required field here that you can float and says it requires the user to enter a value, but kind of what does that mean? So this is a default. But what I did was to go out and take a look at this. Uh, there's a good help screen that's called, you know, flow screen component email. And what it does is it tell you that if you set it true, then somebody has to enter a value and there's kind of other information about the fields. Uh, last piece down here is because of the nature of this element, you also need to define uh, the value as a specific variable. Um, and so now that we've done that, what we're able to do is to is to run it, and let's just say we're gonna we're gonna save it, and when it saves, it says, oh, there's a warning here, uh, that says that you need to make sure that uh, oh, that there's um, it requires lightning runtime. But you get lots of these warnings, so it's never clear if it's actually stopping it. So let me try and run it, and what I find is is that it again it repeats the fact that there's a runtime issue, um, and alt email so that other field did come up and I can go to next so it's really not stopping me but it didn't display the email text because it wasn't able to get it right uh, and so if though what I do is to run uh, the debug which is interesting uh, I can it's good I'm gonna say let's run it and I'm just gonna put in here uh, the email I'm gonna drop in is, is test and I'm going to say uh, next. And if I actually, if I try, interesting, if I try to take, do test.com, uh, test.test, .test, uh, and say next, it says, no, that, that doesn't follow the right pattern. So you need to look at it. So it is a validated email address uh, is the way that we're getting it here. So I'm going to do test at test.com and say next. And it says, great, it accepted it. Um, so this is happening within the debug, but it didn't run live. And what it turns out is, is that when I went out and did a lookup on flow runtime versus classic runtime, what you're seeing is this looks like lightning, whereas this is kind of classic. And the screen we were using looked a bit like this. Now, if we go out then to um, process automation and setup to process automation settings. Uh, we do have a field here that says enable lightning and then we can save it. And now back in the emails, this tester again, uh, I've refreshed and what I'm able to do is to click run and it works just fine. And so here I can add, well, let's just do the test and I say next and it's actually running just fine. I can finish and do whatever. Uh, but again, just to know this is an easy way to look at it, and thanks for watching.